This is us. For the next 28 days, we will be traveling and working remotely in Japan to have a glimpse of what it looks like living here. Samahan nyo kami and let us guide you to different places in Sapporo, Tokyo, Nikko, and Hakone. This is part of our 30-ish days in Japan series kaya be sure to stay tuned kasi at the end of this series, we will give you a breakdown of all our expenses for this trip. For this video, let's visit Sapporo's Entertainment District. Celebrates Jin's birthday eating Wagyu beef at alamin natin ang legend ng bell sa Mount Moiwa that grants eternal happiness to couples. Good morning! Uh, day 7 namin dito sa Sapporo and today is a work day kaya mag-work kami and let's see mamaya ang gabi kung uh, meron, meron kami energy para magkala. During this trip ay nakalive kami every Monday pero we will be reporting for work naman from Tuesday to Friday. Kaya baka hapon na kami makagala for today. We are preparing our food as usual and ang menu for today ay giniling. It's our lunch break. Kain muna tayo. Tapos na yung office hours natin. Kung napapansin nyo, magsa-sunset na. Kaya lang namin na maglakad-lakad uh, around the vicinity kung ano yung mapuntahan namin. So, let's go! Ayan, nandito na tayo sa Suzuki no, yung gusto lang namin i-check out. Walking distance lang siya from our Airbnb, kaya gusto namin siya makita. Uh, Naglalakad-lakad lang kami dito around sa area, pero mukhang ito yung entertainment district nila ng Sapporo. Maraming shops and restaurants dito na makikita, pwede kang kumain. Meron din mga karaoke shop, tapos naglalakad-lakad lang kami to enjoy yung, ano, yung scenery dito. Nakakatuwa lang makita yung lively part nitong Sapporo. Is na dito pala sa may Suzuki no? Ito dinner namin May tindahan ng gyoza dun sa Suzuki no? Magkano to? 600 612 pieces 600 yen 12 pieces So mga 200 pesos ng gyoza na to Yan ang aming dinner Tapos bukas ay work Work day ulit. Ang destination namin for today is Nakijama Park. Nakijama Park is an urban park located at the heart of Sapporo. A 20 hectare park offering serene place to reflect after a long day of work. 10 minutes away lang yung Suzuki no na pinuntahan namin kagabi from this park. Nakita kasi kami doon ng affordable yakiniku with wagyu beef kaya doon sana namin plan mag dinner to celebrate Jin's birthday. Ito na yung pinakamurang yakiniku that offers wagyu beef na nakita namin. So far naman ay masasarap yung set na na-order namin, especially yung wagyu. Sulit siya para sa akin and mataas yung value niya for money. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Bye! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, 
Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Sana makapag-retire na ako. Hindi pa po mabuksan, no? Kaya today. Kaya <laughs> magpakain. Cacao, milk, extra milk, buttermilk, white, lemon, strawberry. Wow, ganito pala pag ano? Specialty cake, specialty chocolate. <laughs> wow! Bawal ka humingi. <laughs> So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me, and honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it, anything. So I'ma just get by in everything to you in the next life. Have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way pushing on my chest and it's squeezed till I suffocate. What is up? Top of the army shift. And we're going to the city where we can view the city or yung buong Sapporo kaya papunta kami ngayon sa mayroong cable car aakit siya ng mountain and naglalakad kami dito ngayon Shieldas sa insects kita nyo ba yung insects? Round trip ticket at Mount Moiwa Ropeway cost 2,100 yen or 820 pesos. The ropeway is approximately 3,700 feet and climbs to an elevation of about 1,700 feet above sea level. Para sa akin, ay sa view pa lang ng cable car ay sulit na din yung price ng ticket. Two cable car rides pa lang ang need niyo sa kyan in order to reach the Mount Moiwa observation deck. Some people preferred hiking or riding a shuttle bus to reach the deck, pero pinakamabilis ang mag-cable car if you want to save time. Nandito din sa observation deck ang legendary bell of happiness. According sa legend, this bell brings eternal happiness to couples who rings the bell together by making a wish for their relationship. Many tourists, especially couples, visit the place just to ring the bell. Ang lakas mga high school ng bell na to. Oh, hindi ko lalakasan. One, two, three. Wala, dito mo nagbula na. Wala na po ever. One, two, three. We stayed here hanggang maggabi to observe yung transition ng buildings to city lights. We left around 7 p.m. and head to Suzukino again to end our day and eat at Sapporo Ramen Haruka. The place is so cozy and can only accommodate around 10 person at a time. What's up, Jin? Sa akin, garlic. Yun lang, garlic. Garlic miso. Not only does it look authentic, pero it tastes authentic as well. Medyo maalat lang siya konti for my taste, but overall, it is definitely in the top 3 of our ramen list. Hope you enjoyed our weekly tour. 
thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I-hit nyo na rin ang notification bell for more. See you in the next one. Bye!